another relaxing and chilled start to the morning. Stace is just getting ready. We've got our morning coffee going. Um, it's going to head to the gym very shortly, which we don't often really show or talk about. While we travel, we like to train and we generally eat pretty healthy. If you're interested in hearing more or seeing what our gym and all that sort of stuff looks like, feel free to comment. It's not a fitness channel though, so we just never really include it. But the big plan for today is we're heading about 40 minutes north to Da Nang, which we've mentioned a few times in the last video. We're going to try and share some of those costs as well, so you can see what sort of goes into it as we hunt around. Chi, who you may have seen if you've watched our other Hoi An vlogs, the lady that runs the villa that we stayed in temporarily, temporarily before we came here, she bought us coffee mugs and she chose this for me because it matches. Chi, if you're watching this, thank you very much. Anyway, let's go. We've come all the way to Da Nang and we're buying Kiwi products, apparently. Made in Thailand. Made in Thailand, so we might as well have just brought it with us. So we've come to a place called Lotimar and this whole mall is pretty much tailored around um, this sort of like one level of like homewares and then one level of like food and everything. So it is a shame that we don't have this sort of stuff in Hoi An, so this is just sort of we're hoping a one-off trip to grab these bits and pieces. So we'll shoot around, we're gonna grab a few more things and then we're gonna to head to the food floor and hopefully the hardest part will be actually getting it back home, won't it? Yeah. We've got two bags and the space within the scooter as well. We'll see. Here's the real issue. We've gotta buy them house slippers. When in Asia, when in Rome. <laughs> so these are all less than two US dollars. They're too big for your feet, babe. You need some of these ones. They're so pretty. Oh no, these ones. That's your size. So we spent 760,000, was it I think? Yeah. 760,000 dong. It sounds like so much money. And considering how much we bought, we were thinking, fuck with. <laughs> you know, we're not on a super tight budget, but also it's silly to move somewhere for two months like we do and then just spend hundreds of dollars on all this stuff and then you just leave it and you go. So we're semi, we're smart shopping. We ended up with frying pan, cutting board, flippers, so much stuff. Like deodorant for each of us, cutting knives, extension board things, shampoo. This is just one bag, we got a whole other bag. Cleaning stuff, body wash, house slippers each. <laughs> Storage containers for food that we cook, washing stuff, and garbage bags. So it's safe to say that traveling like we do, when you buy in bulk like this, is actually not that expensive. We've got a $400 apartment, we're spending 30 something dollars on groceries, and then we just have to buy little bits and pieces that we cook here and there. Anyway, it's crazy. So we're going to go upstairs now and buy more of that to the food level, and get some of our more typical groceries. <laughs> so the one we're in now is much more like a standard supermarket. <laughs> we're not really supposed to film in here I don't think, so I'm just trying to get little sneaky shots now and then. And as you'd expect, Stace has come down probably her favourite aisle. One thing's for sure, the Oreos are so cheap. Only 13,000. This is definitely something we have not found in Hoi An is like fresh produce like this. Now the real struggle begins. We've got all of those bags, one scooter. You reckon we can do it? Yeah. We're gonna have to, we don't really have a choice. Food shopping turned out about the same, nothing too exciting here. Some pasta, some rice, some breads, typical sauces and stuff like that for cooking. Came out about the same, 500,000 for all of that. We made it back safely. Took a little bit longer than normal, gone a bit slower and safe because we had so many bags, one on my front, Stace had one on her back, I had food hanging between my lap and in the seat itself, but it was all good. So we managed to stock, pretty much stock our new house with everything that we need for 1.3 million dong. Sounds like a lot of money, but that's like 80 New Zealand dollars. Uh, I don't know what that is in US, I'll put that on the screen now. I mean, this is the sort of stuff that we have to do to every country, every country that we go to when we settle in like this. 
It's not really the sort of stuff that we show often, but for us, it's part of our lives. It's part of what we do while we, while we travel. So hopefully it's interesting to see what some of those costs look like anyway. Speaking of our lives while we travel, that does often mean that we end up back here doing the bits and pieces of work that we need to. We don't really care about having to do a little bit of work if it means that we get to live the lifestyle that we want when we can just do this. Can't complain about that. Hey babe. Yeah. Sorry, I was filming and I completely forgot to get a towel. <laughs> I get a <laughs> The real behind the scenes. Another cool thing about a new country is trying new restaurants. Where are we gonna go tonight? We're going to a place called Ola Taco. Yeah. And I'm gonna get some tacos. <laughs> we gotta get our Mexican fix. Yep. We don't have the meat to actually cook our local meals yet, so. <laughs> yeah, we got all this shit today and we're just not even using it. You have to go to the markets apparently. Anyway, yep. let's do it. This guy's just making himself at home on our bike. <laughs> Something I just noticed actually, I didn't know was there. Check out this sweet grill. <laughs> now we're just at our local AP Mart to try and grab a couple of bits and pieces that we couldn't pick up earlier on today. And I think that's it. We'll catch you next time. Bye.